Hello everyone, I'm Brian and today I'm going to be reacting to uh, Rash Tria Rifles? Rash Tria Rifles? I didn't look up how to say that, I wanted to try it on my own and you can you can, cru you can freaking crucify me on the comments about how I said it, but I'll try my best, you know, and let me know how, how it's pronounced. I might look it up later, but I guess maybe I should have done it before, but I'd rather try and be honest. <laughs> Rash Tria. Rash Tria Rifles? So anyways, uh, this is a request of the request of your request, please leave it in the comments below. Please leave a link to that video too, because sometimes when I do Google search what you request, there's multiple videos of it, I'm not exactly sure which one to react to. So it'll help me out a lot and I'll add it to my list. I do have a, a lot of requests at the moment, so I will put on my list and try to get to them as much as possible. Alright, so I don't know anything about this other than it's, uh, I'm guessing it's a particular rifle group of uh, the Indian Army, maybe a special forces type group. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. It says goosebumps guaranteed. I don't, I don't get very much goosebumps. So, I got him. Got it. I might have to mute it if it's like, yep, muting it for because of the music. Sorry. Music sounds good though. I'll say that. Very professional. I like that. I mean. You can, that's what you kind of expect with special forces, like very tactical move, very precise movement. I'm wondering, well, let's see if they uh, explain it here. Yeah, it's all music. Sorry, I got to mute it. One thing I will say is most special forces are very particular in what they do. Like there's uh, bomb disposal groups, counter-terrorism groups, um, hostage groups, um, hostage situation groups, should I say. Um, like, you know, like you have uh, the Navy SEALs, you have the Green Berets, you have, um, can't remember what else. Uh, they are very professionally trained. I mean, again, I have very limited experience in terms of watching some military things. I, I watch other React videos too, like everyone else, like y'all, and um, I, I see some of them, like especially uh, as a dimple with the um, North Korean defectors, and they, they watch some American uh, stuff, and that's how I get my information about how military stuff works. God, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention a lot while trying to talk coherently, and it doesn't work very well. Oh, under barrel grenade launchers. Hmm. Okay. You saw him pointing out the gun like that. Hey, very legitimate. I mean. Even though you're not aiming, the I think well, from what I hear, they do that just to kind of scare the enemy, and they're gonna keep their heads down and have maybe get a lucky shot too. Typically, you don't want to do that to waste ammo, but I mean, come on, if 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 you're in a deadly situation, you do that just to try to keep them down. Dang, that, that gun looks really cool. The AK with the underbarrel grenade launcher. So I see the weapon of choice is the AK, which I heard is actually very good. Um, much more reliable than the Americans um, M4, I believe. Uh, I, I know I watched some uh, gun channels, and they do the the dirt test where they put cover it in dirt, mud, and all that. And the M16 or the M4, I don't know which one it is for the Americans, but it jams up. But the AK just freaking just takes it all in. It's like, oh, there's dirt on me. I, I didn't even know. My bad. I, I'll keep firing though. <laughs> I do wonder why the U.S. uses the M. Uh, I, I, the U.S. is the U.S. You know, they 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 make their own stuff and say this is what we're gonna use. Well, they are using the uh, was it the M2 saw? Oh, I'm sorry, M2 saw. The saw maybe or the M426 or something like that. Can't remember what it is. Familiar with weapons because of games.
So I guess the question I have, let's see. Okay, it's pretty much almost over with. The question I have is what they what do they specialize in? Urban warfare, um, infiltration, um, assa- I, I don't know if assassination necessarily, or are they, are they a jack of all trades, master of none? Whenever they usually mean tribute, it usually means they've died in combat. All right, so I, I you know, I'll, I'm, I'm sad to see anyone lose their life, especially in war. It's, it's terrible. Who knows what they could have been after their service? You know, they could have been, I don't know, lifesavers and other things. Just good, good people, and it sucks to see people die. There's this. I watched this one video about. Uh, I watch it many a times. There's two of them actually in particular. It's the World War Two, and the f- first recorded Medal of Honor, and it's very hard to watch those. Even though you don't see pictures of people, it's just the fact that one is about one uh, a particular group of Americans, but World War Two one was just so terrible. Just this to. St- I don't know how to, I don't know what to call it to statistify uh, the deaths. It's so crazy. It's just so ridiculously high. Even though it's compared to other wars in the past, it's not as high compared to the percent population that died. You know, the older wars are a lot deadlier because they took up like I don't know 20% of the population. Even though I think World War II was the highest body count. But due to the fact that we have such a large population, that it's not a large death of the world population. But yeah, like, and as I think about all the people that died defending people's freedoms uh, against evil people, terrible people, and I, I hate to see, like, this guy looks like he's happy, he looks like a freaking cool dude to hang out with, you know? All of them. But because. You know, they felt they have a uh, higher duty to the people. They have people they believe in the country they believe in that they end up having their life cut short. Who knows what they could have done with the rest of their lives? It's 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 always sad to see that. But my question here is: I I watched the video. Uh, I kind of see a lot of uh, urban warfare, even freaking building demolition. I'm assuming they're popping in. Um, grenades into the building with their grenade launcher, underbarrel grenade launcher. So I'm just curious, I, I don't know anything about this group. What do they specialize in? Um, I, hell, even with um, Navy SEALs and um, Navy SEALs and um, Green Berets, they all are generally, they're the top, the cream of the crop of the particular branches of the US Army and I'm not exactly sure what they specialize in either. I mean, I don't, I don't sit here and research military army or anything like that, but I would, I would enjoy learning about it for sure. So I, I kind of wish they talked about uh, this group of people more information than just showing like really nice scenes and stuff. This is really, it would re- really cool to see what it takes to. I request a video for. I mean, sh- give me a link to like a training video. I'll, I'll try to find it too. But if there's a good one that you guys got, let me know because I would like to see the training it takes to get into this. Because there is for Navy SEALs, you can look it up on YouTube and I watch it. It's pretty terrible, and just to see what they specialize in. Like uh, again, it's probably they're probably a jack of all trades kind of deal. Let's see what else. Uh, what else am I thinking about? I like that they use shields. It's not very typical for a military combat group to use shields. Uh, then again, uh, again, my my resource is limited on that. It's not very typical. It's usually done in in turn um, domestic stuff like SWAT teams in the U.S. They use shields to breach into uh, confined areas, um, but it's not very common. I don't think. Again, very limited resource, and I just, again, my thoughts out here, my opinion, none of it's fact, it's just my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I do like the video, but I want to know, like, their combat training, where are they picked from, because, like, uh, what is it? Again, the Navy SEALs, one, the one that I've, I've seen the most of the Navy SEALs, one reason why I know a lot about them is that they are, I think, I can't remember what branch is it, uh, the Navy branch, and they're picked from them only. 
So they cannot, I don't think they can necessarily be Green Berets unless they're a different part of the army, I believe. And I'm wondering where they pull these, these guys from, what is the requirements, and how tough the training is. Navy SEAL training was very tough. I think that's only like a, a very small percentage that actually succeed in, a, in that training. So yeah, actually very cool. And it's really cool to see what other special forces the Indian Army has and what they do specifically. All right, I think I blabbled on a little bit too much, but again, being open with you and just telling you what I think, regardless whether that's a good or bad thing, just being honest again. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.